Hello and welcome back to Endor Games. My name is Casey and today we will once again be continuing on our Jedi Knight story playthrough Star Wars The Old Republic. I know I've said that so many times at this point. So many. Do you guys like this hallway? Isn't this just such a nice hallway? Such a magnificent hallway with okay lighting. The lighting's okay. The problem is it's got all these guys in it and they just keep attacking me. They just keep doing it. I've been sitting here in this chair for a while and they keep coming around but Scourge is taking care of it. There's at least two of them right here, see? <laughs> and I haven't moved from this spot. I just sit here and watched him take care of it. He handled it magnificently. I mean, look at the guy. We all knew he would. I mean, his lightsaber is huge. You can take that as you will. You've dealt with the Eshka a mighty blow. Oh, you've dealt the Eshka a mighty blow. But their chief hunter, Moon, mentions something about a world razor, whatever that is. Although Hunter Moon wouldn't say anything more general skylast is worried this world razor could be a threat to the entire galaxy that would be bad he asked you to head deeper into the prison to investigate head down to the tomb oh no oh, that does that definitely doesn't sound good general skylast will contact you via hollow terminal to give you more info it's always nice to have more info so are you ready to get out of this place well here we go then I guess Pretty easy. What in the world is this? Oh. You know, I actually kind of... <laughs> it's weird, but I kind of like it. I'm taking it. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's mine now. this place before now I have to walk all the way through it again what's in here what's this way oh right where I have to defeat those guys out in that specific area kind of a waste of my time honestly Kind of a waste of my time. My time isn't very important, and somehow it's it's still a waste of it. Hey, I'm gonna keep swinging. I'm gonna do it. Just randomly swinging. 
Come on. Random swing attack. <laughs> we got it. And there are you! Car Slayer? What in the world does that even mean? Are you supposed to slay things from afar? If that's true, why are you guys just all standing in a circle? It's not gonna help you out. You should be standing away from the group. So the group can be the distraction while you swoop in from above. I'm afar. From a far away. From a very far away. What you think about this statue, Skirt? What you think about it? There are things you should know. Tell me. I don't care about those things you keep talking about. If you really want me to know, just spit it out. I'll be here waiting. <laughs> now I'll be waiting for you to tell me what it is you want. I'll be waiting. I'm tired of doing that. Why don't you just hurry up with all that? With all that. Oh, once again, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I know you probably you can't probably can't hear me anymore. You're deaf now after listening to that. I apologize. If you can still slightly hear me though, my bad. There's a chance it'll happen again, so just pull one. What is that? Oh, it's glowing. I need you to repair those things for me. Thank you very much. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. I already knew I was. This is not new information. You made it. I Good. did. Now listen up. You had a possible lead on that world razor. Recon droids picked up a large contingent of Eshgar headed for the prison bowels. Elite soldiery. Very dangerous. Led by none other than the Eshgar's patriarch, Gore Claw. If that maniac's involved, it's a sure bet they're up to something. Didn't we pretty much already know that they were, uh, up to something? I seriously doubt it's a coincidence. You think this has something to do with the World Razor? It does. Can't think of anything else that would rally the Eshgar like this. Free donuts. The Eshgar are gonna need one heck of a trump card if they run off this rock. My money's on the world, Razor. Dug up some records on the thing. Very apocalyptic. Saw phrases like, destroyer of planets and eater of stars more often than I'd like. We can't let it escape. We need to keep that thing as far away from the Republic as possible. If there's one thing Bell Service is good for, it's keeping the galaxy scum out of the Republic's air. Overheard some Eshkar calm chatter. Something about disabling a fail-safe. Could be our ticket to stopping all this nonsense. 
The transmission came from a nearby cave. Lots of Eshka assembling there. Gonna need you down there to see what this failsafe is all about. Well, it's not like I have much of a choice. There's no time like the present. This mission will take you deeper into Belsavis than anyone's gone. It's a dangerous world down there, but the Republic, heck, maybe the galaxy, is counting on you. Good luck. Isn't it always counting on me? I mean, if it wasn't for me and my friends, what would you guys do? You're my friend, right, Scourge? Yeah, he's not my friend. <laughs> no friend of mine would just keep saying the same freaking thing over and over. That's actually probably not true. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I started saying it and I was like, that, that sounds like one big fat lie. A friend of mine wouldn't mess with me. Yeah, they would. I mean, not that I have any friends, but, you know, if I had one, I imagine that's what they would do. Maybe one day, if I ever get one, we'll find out. we'll go that direction we're gonna head that way and see what we find I'm not sure which direction I'm supposed to go maybe that way I'm gonna go this way and find out anyway if that's the wrong way then that's the wrong way that's just what it is sometimes you go the wrong way that's just what happens in my case, most of the time, that's just what you're doing. You're just going the wrong way. You go the wrong way enough times, you find the right one. Well, you know, by that point you have so much experience. And knowing the bad ways that you know, this is probably a pretty good one. I discovered an ancient Rakanan keep. It's always what I wanted to do. When I was growing up, I used to say, I want to discover ancient keeps. And my family asked me why, and I said, I don't know. I just feel like it's calling me. It must be my destiny. And then they all just kind of looked at me weird and called me stupid. They were right. I should have listened to them. Should have stayed in school. You know when they when you hear that as a kid and they say, "Hey kids, stay in school," you think, "Ah, these people need to come and lecture me and shut up." As you get older, you realize that was very good advice. <laughs> well, I don't know. Nowadays, they don't really seem to be teaching kids anything in school, so I think you're just better off staying home. Maybe getting homeschooled. That's actually probably that. Maybe go to private school. If you're gonna go, uh, public schools just don't seem like a very good thing anymore. I mean, they were bad 15, 20, you know, they were bad before. They didn't teach nothing. They didn't teach nothing. Maybe you had a better public school than I did, but... Mine were awful. 
they didn't teach you nothing. Like they were barely even teachers. If being a teacher consists of saying, hey, read this chapter in this book and then answer the questions at the end, good luck. Then I guess it makes you a teacher, or hey, I'm gonna do this math problem on the board. I'm not gonna explain really how I did it. I'm just gonna do it and show it to you and then basically just say, figure it out, good luck. And then I'm gonna wonder why you have no idea how to do any of this stuff. I didn't actually properly explain and show you how to do any of it. I just kind of, I just kind of gave you a thing and told you to wing it. And then I'm shocked to find out that, you know, just reading a little paragraph in a book wasn't enough to completely comprehend what, what you were uh, trying to do. Well, you know, I could have taken about 30 seconds out of my day and actually showed you and then you'd know I mean it was like that with math I, I, public school sucked I went to other places and learned where you know with an actual like what you say a tutor oh my goodness the, the stuff that I was confused about for years and had no idea how to do was properly explained to me and I figured it out within about you know, a couple minutes, and then was like, "This is freaking easy." <laughs> the power of the sea. All I need, all I needed, was somebody to actually show me how. Because some people, you know, they learn by example. So you gotta actually talk them through it and guide them through it at least one time, and then after you do that, then they, then they got it, and they know how to do it. But making them have, you know, read this in the book and then try to figure it out, that doesn't work. Sometimes some people gotta be taken step by step through the process and have their hand held a little bit. But then after you do that, they're good to go. I mean, that's probably one of the reasons that schools are terrible there's so many kids in one class how could you possibly give them the individual attention that they all need with some of them to actually properly learn what's going on so for some of the kids they feel stupid and they're just like i don't know what to do but all they really need is somebody to just sit down and just explain it to them one time and then they'll be able to do it A little bit of singling out, a little bit of attention. I see attention. Yeah, I guess attention. I mean, if you got like 35 kids in your class, it's probably really hard to do anything with them. Now, if you had like 10, 15, maybe, you know, you'd actually have time to focus a little more on each one of them. But I mean, do they have enough teachers for that? Who wants to be a teacher? You don't get paid very much. The kids are unruly and nowadays you can't tell them what to do or like give them any punishment. They'll just basically laugh at you and if you try to do anything, they'll, you'll just get fired anyway. I mean, imagine you make no money and you just go to a place where kids basically just a free reign to do whatever they want and say whatever they want to you do whatever they want to you and at the end of the day you'll be looked at as the one who's the bad guy and they'll just be like but they're just a kid that's not a good thing don't think of kids necessarily kids can be dangerous just because somebody's a little younger doesn't mean they're not capable of doing extreme crazy things as we've seen all the time, that's that's usually who's more capable than anyone.
The coral and it is more than a thousand planets burn, a hundred stars wither and collapse. The world rose or something yesterday, fell safe seas. Too much, too much, he tells certain parts of uncertain futures. His people must seal him away. Today, Ashkel pound on the glass. They want to kill Felsafe, but someone intervenes. Felsafe is grateful. Uh, my pleasure. It was the least I could do. Today, many seek out the world razor. Already, its eye begins to open. Soon, it will awaken. Today, only the burning way remains to stop the world razor. And only Felsafe remembers the burning way. So that's why you were attacked. The Eshka must not have wanted you telling anyone how to stop them. Oh, yeah. Today, Gorkalaw fears self-based words. Yesterday, the world razor is vested. The builders fill it beneath the planet's crust and construct the burning way safeguard its imprisonment. Today, the Eshka razor revived the world razor and destroy the burning way. The world razor's time draws near. I better hurry. Then I need to get down there and stop them. The day the world razor waits in the depths, the Ishkal amass under Grove Claw banner, preparing for their final triumph. Today, preserve the burning way and seal the world razor's fate. I'll do what I want. Just you stop telling me what to do. I guess I guess that's not true. I'm not gonna be able to do what I want because just make me do it anyway. And now I gotta walk all the way back through this place. Too bad I can't use my mount. Wouldn't that just be an amazing thing? So have all you guys come back now? Are you just gonna be in my way? I hope not. I'm gonna be very peeved. I'm gonna I'm just gonna be really angry if you do that. I'm gonna be upset. But nobody cares. When a grown man throws a tantrum, no one cares. They just look and laugh and point and go, What is wrong with that guy? That's exactly what I would do as well. I mean, when anybody really throws a tantrum, honestly, is it... Are you ever really going to take them very serious? It's like those people who throw paint on the paintings at the museums and they're like, to pay attention to things, but it's like no one's gonna give a crap about what you have to say anymore. <laughs> or the, yeah, sitting in the middle of the road, blocking the road, it's like, hey, how is that gonna make people be like, you know what? We should totally go support this cause now. Look at this amazing thing they're doing. Just ruining everyone's day and their lives. Stopping those ambulances, I mean, amazing stuff. <laughs> Did you see how they threw that on that priceless work of art? Good stuff. How long do you think it took him to come up with that? About three minutes? Three years? It took him three years to come up with that plan? Well. At least the plan came to fruition. Now, most of the time when I make, when I do things like that, they, they never happen. I'm, isn't that like most people? They're like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then they never do those things that they say they're going to set out to do. Maybe everybody should start doing that. You want to do something, you know? You want to learn karate? Go learn karate. Do it. You keep saying you want to do it. Go actually learn karate. Kung Fu, you want to do Kung Who cares? Whatever it is, go learn it. Krav Maga, wanna, you do it. You want to learn how to play the guitar? Go learn how to play the guitar. Piano, whatever, your know, violin. The way I always look at it, think about all the hours you've just sat around doing nothing and wasted. Doing absolutely, looking at cat videos on YouTube for, you know, three hours a day. Now imagine if you took that three hours of looking at cat videos and you, uh, you put it forth doing something else, like that karate, you know, or the guitar, or whatever. I mean, think about it. If you spent all those three hours a day trying to do that, 
for a year, you'd probably actually be able to do it somewhat. And you could still have the CAD video going on in the background. Don't forget that. You can still you can still have the cat videos at the same time. Who says you can't? And if they say you can't, you just do it. Show them that you can. Like, look at me. I'm amazing. I'm juggling and watching cat videos at the same time. Maybe they got one of those, uh... Like selfie, like a selfie thing that like straps to your chest and it like holds the, you know, the phone out in front of you so you can juggle and it'd make it harder to juggle because you'd have this thing in front of you, but you could do it. I mean, imagine you're learning how to play the drums and you're watching cat videos. Amazing, right? I mean, that's cool. That's who doesn't want to play the drums and watch cat videos? You don't? Well, try it. Maybe you'll like do something else like the piano. Or the violin and, uh, and, and cat videos. Didn't they used to make... Or was that piano strings they made out of cat? Well, whatever the thing that they used... Uh, to make strings out of that used to be cats play that and watch cat videos with your cat who knows maybe your cat will love it I know don't stand at you he's just a swing and I should have done this <laughs> I could have interrupted him during that but I was too busy rambling away talking about cat videos but as we all know, once you start going down the rabbit hole that is cat videos, you can't stop. Next thing you know, you're watching dog videos, too. Some of them, they might even be cat and dog videos. That's usually how it ends up. I mean, it's really hard to pick between the two. Some people would have a definitive... I just like cats. Oh, come on, you got it with make dogs. They're freaking hilarious. And you know you can get you can get them together, and that's just amazing. Wasn't that a movie about cats and dogs or something fighting each other? <laughs> I don't remember really, but I'm pretty sure it happened. Are okay, you done spinning over here? I couldn't get close. He just kept uh, spinning away like a top. Like a Beyblade. Beyblade, Beyblade. Like a Beyblade. Like a rainbow. I know I mentioned that. The day, but I really do like that. I don't remember the name of the show. I don't think it's really like a cool show. I'll show you a whole new spectrum of pain. More like a rainbow. Yeah, I don't think he did it. I don't think he was very successful in his mission to show people the rainbow. Maybe he should have got some Skittles. Then they could have at least tasted the rainbow. You'll taste a whole new spectrum of flavors, like a rainbow. They should do that. They should do that in a in a Skittles commercial. I would, I would definitely have to go out and get some after that. But I don't. That's tough. I like Skittles, but I think that sour Skittles they just, they just might be better. I want both of those right now. I want I want to eat both kinds. Of, I have not had Skittles and like I cannot remember the last time I had a Skittle or a Starburst. Oh man. 
I'm a guy who really, really enjoys candy. I really do. Halloween was like my favorite time of year growing up. Oh, other than Christmas, but you know, because you got presents. Well, I got bad presents. My sister got a lot of good presents, but I got, I got okay presents. Every now and then I get an okay, you know, not a bad one. But oh my goodness, when Halloween would come around, I, that candy would last me like the whole month and I would, I would take some every day to school with me and eat it at lunch. <laughs> And just, you know, rent, because, you know, you'd get a lot of candy. At least we did. We got a lot of candy. And, you know, your parents would also buy candy for and give it away. So you'd have extra. I don't think they ever bought candy that we really wanted ourselves, though. <laughs> More vermin. My garden has grown wild. This beauty sold by the pests and weeds. Only the world razor can truly sell them. The world razor stirs it grown shadows. These walls soon the levy will break and we will wash over the stars. I don't think that's how levies work, but okay. You must be the leader. Gorklaw, I presume. Your unclean tongue turns my name to ash. Speak it no more. A new dawn approaches. We shall march into the beat of the world razor's heart and trample you under our feet. Oh. Oh. You're not supposed to do that. Don't do that either. What are you doing? need to quit doing that, you know? You got some boots? Those were actually kind of cool. Does it go with that helmet? Is that what that was? No. Thank you for the money. Always welcome. To have some money around, you know. I'd say you can't ever have too much money, but I imagine maybe you can. Depends how you spend it. Depends on circumstances like maybe people around you want the money if you didn't have the money they'd never would have bothered you in the first place but here they are now cause she got it what in the world is going on stop we must speak the burning wall still churns with liquid fire Goreclaw has failed me you have solved my return. You have much power, but you could have more. I do like power. You're right. I am powerful. The force was with me as usual. Eshka, do not die easily. Your victory over them does you credit. You need you need not fear my hunger. Many cycles will pass before my roots burrow into this planet and crack it open. I will be free, but you will be dust and bones by then. Heed me, and your rewards will be great. Like what? What kind of rewards are we talking about here? The long-lost technology of your predecessors. Surely you know the glory of the builders and their infinite empire. The fury of their weapons surpassed even my own might. Destroying the burning way, seal the vents so I may begin my escape. And the builder's technology is yours. Refuse, and your children's children shall know my wrath. Sure, it's a deal. All right. But you better keep your end of the bargain. I don't want you to mess with my children's children. I might be a force ghost, so I, I might still see it. The way has been cleared. My return is decided. You have chosen wisely. Snap your reward on the ice world of Alum. A small cluster of my worshippers remains. 
Yeah. They will find the builder's technology. Now go, my hunger grows. This cold will not satisfy satiate me. I couldn't talk there for a second. I finally remembered how. I think I want to go there. I think so. Keep, 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 keep it up, I guess. <laughs> hey, guys. There you are. I'm here. We were getting worried. Here I am. Maybe I'd sent you to your death down there. No. General Skylas told me about the World Razor. Did he? Hard to believe something like that's been down in the vaults this whole time. So what happened? Did you stop the World Razor? It's out of our hands now. The World Razor's not our concern anymore. I was hoping for a more thorough debrief, but if you say it's over, I'll take your word for it. I can't thank you enough for all your contributions. You've done the Republic a real service. Project Noble Focus would still be up and running if you hadn't exposed Senator Tudos and stopped those rat attacky. Yeah. And you even took out Goreclaw. Mm -hmm. Good riddance, I say. I agree. That lunatic had it coming. It's finally over. I guess that puts an end to the Eshkaz plans once and for all. Hate to be an optimist, but it looks like it. Still plenty of stragglers, but with Goreclaw dead, a lot of them have started killing each other. Weird, but I can't complain. Weird. Put a lot on the line to help us out there. The Republic owes you one. Cool. I think you guys owe me like at least like three or four. Not just one. Hmm, is that the same as this? No, that's different. Hmm. I really like that one, though. That goes better with the hood. Isn't that what they called the arrow? Well, in the, in the show, the arrow, at least before he became the green arrow, or the arrow, where he was the arrow first, and then and then somehow people were supposed to think he was a different guy just because now he's called the Green Arrow and not the Arrow. He looks, he's the exact same height and build and pretty much looks the same, but, you know, he's green now, so there's no way it's him. But either way, I'm going to end this one right here at this point in time before we get into all the other stuff. I do hope everyone enjoyed themselves. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And of course, if you didn't, please also do the same. But of course, you don't have to. What you do have to do is, you gotta have a good day. Because without a good day, you got nothing. And after that good day, hopefully I shall see you on the next one. I guess now there really is only one thing left to say, and that is... Goodbye.